all right um hey guys uh, we are back again with another video so yesterday uh, the last video it wasn't yesterday it was just a couple minutes ago um i showed you how to make an elevator like this one i made one right over there uh don't worry about the colors i used that to illustrate some the building blocks of the elevator uh so in this video i'm gonna change back the colors and <laughs> Um, I'm going to show you how to script this elevator that's going to take us to the top of this tower, okay? So, first, for the effects, I'm going to change the colors back because the elevator looks so much better with its original colors. Um, so, I will do that. Something like that. Um, Okay. All right. Um, so here's the thing. We have this elevator right here. Okay, it's gonna be here. Now we want the user to walk in and enter this elevator, and it's gonna take him to the top of the tower. Right. We're gonna move this tree. So we need to create an entry point. So, because as you can see, it's an outside facing elevator, right? So we don't want that. We don't want them to enter from the outside. It has to be on the inside. So we can just simply do that. And then we can just add a square. Just a block on top here as well. So this is the platform that we're gonna come to. The elevator is gonna bring us here. So we can enjoy the view. Okay, so we want the user to walk all the way behind here. Hopefully they can do that and get into the elevator through the back door or you know what we could actually create a front door here okay something like that beautiful Beautiful. Uh, right, I can close this out. Just like that. Nice and beautiful. All right. Um. Yeah. So now the user will walk here and enter the elevator through this gate. So. Here's the thing, we want a button that the user will press to call the elevator when the elevator is not here. Um, so we could put that button somewhere here, okay? Um, I like it when it's green, if it's going up. I like to also put gizmos right next to what I'm building so that I have perspective of how big the human is going to be. So in this case, the hand is going to be somewhere here. Okay. Um, you can go outside for now. I'm going to change the color to green. Now, we want the user to press this and the elevator comes right here. How do we do that? We will need a few things. We will need uh, trigger <coughs> so when the user enters this trigger we're gonna do something and that something is bring the elevator here um, to do that we'll need a script okay also we'll need a sound sounds are amazing because they 
give feedback to the user. Um, let's use this one. We're gonna dial it up to volume to 100% so we can hear it. Okay, and the script is right there. So, um, this script is going to call the elevator from the ground floor. Call from ground floor, okay? So, when the trigger is entered by the player, we're talking about this trigger here, then we want the elevator object, so we need to create that object. Elevator, wish I could type faster. So if we call from the ground floor, we want to move the elevator object to a certain position. Now, what's that position? We could try and guess a vector. As you can see here, we could try, <laughs> hope this doesn't die when I'm teaching you. Um, we could try this, a random vector until you get it right. But hey guys, we're better than that, right? So instead, we could use a marker. Okay, so a marker could be anything. We could come up with an object like this one, like a cube, okay? And this marker will be the position at, that the elevator comes to. Okay, we want it to be spread out because it's gonna automatically normalize it and, and settle at like the, the center of this. So if we put it somewhere here, the elevator will settle exactly here. Uh, if you want the elevator to settle here, this thing has to be lower. It needs to be like at the center of gravity. Yeah. Or somewhere there. We can try and see. Um, but here's the thing. We don't want this object to be collidable because it should not collide with the elevator. Also, we don't want it to be visible, but we'll make it visible for now because we want to see what's happening. Let's color it as well. Okay, um, so we can differentiate it. So, we will call this the ground floor marker. Okay, remember it's the ground floor marker. Okay, so when we what's there's something here? Oh I know what that is. It's the wall. Okay. So when we call this from ground floor, we want to move the elevator to the position of that violet thing right there. So we want to replace that, we want to remove that, replace it with position of object, and our object is going to be the ground floor marker. Okay. Oops. All right, um, it's that simple, really, that's it. And we also wanna play a sound. We wanna play a sound, right? Because we want to give that feedback to the user that, hey, something is being done, don't give up. There we go, see? All right, it's that simple. That's it. That's it, guys. You don't believe me? I will show you. So, remove it anywhere, random place, like here. Okay. And then we will spawn right here. 
So here we are. That elevator should be here. You press that. Hmm. Oh yeah, we forgot one thing. Oh, I'm a dummy. We are supposed to add the script. I mean, how is it magically going to know what everything is? So we need to add this script to the trigger. So we add the script. It's called call from the ground floor. So we need to add these attributes. This is the sound attribute. The sound variable, sorry. Put it there. You want to add the ground floor marker. Put it there. And then we want to add the elevator itself. Um, so we want to add the elevator as well. Let's rename this so that we know it's the elevator. I already have another elevator, so I'm just going to call it uh, like that. Start that again. I mean, yeah, it's the arrow confirms it, so I think it's just horizon lagging, but it's actually the same thing because you can see this um, connection. Okay, so let's try it out. Uh oh, we dropped into the oblivion, into the abyss. See, see what we just did there? It came right where we wanted it. See. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again. Put it back up there. Spawn here. Boom, our elevator just came, right? Um, few problems as you can see, but we're gonna fix them, we're gonna fix them. So first, we want this to be invisible. We're done with it for now. The ground floor marker. So let's see. Not visible and no motion. It's just sitting there. And then we want to straighten this out. Okay, so now we want to copy this marker and create another one on top here. And really your marker could be anything. You just want it to be something that um, evenly spreads out across the spread of the elevator. So we're going to call this the top floor marker. So we will write another script. So now we want to press uh, that button inside there. Okay. And when we press this button, the elevator should go all the way to the top marker. So it's similar to what we just did. Um, we're going to jump into this group. We're going to jump in. And then we're going to take this script trigger. So essentially when we want to attach a new script, because I just copied this one from the other one, so it's using the same script. When 
and yeah, scripting inside <laughs> oh, there's, it's, there's so much going on. So this script, let's call it app. So when you press this, we want everything to go up, right? So. Right, so when the world, when trigger is entered by the user, by the player, um, just like we did before, we want a player sound. Play a sound. Um, wait, oh yeah, it's here. Is it a little too quiet in here? I'm gonna just play some music. better so after playing the sound we want it to take the elevator all the way up take it to the position of the top marker something like that just one second I gotta recharge my headset otherwise we will <laughs> 